We've looked at gold, we've looked at honey, we've looked at the letter, we've now looked at the spirit about what these things can be on that spiritual level. And now we look at the land itself, a land that flows with milk and honey. Is it only the letter? Is it only the literal? Or is the land itself, does the land represent something? Hmm. And when we turn to Hebrews chapter 11, we know that it does. Shalom, Torah fans. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Tap the subscription button and the bell icon, and I promise to update weekly with in-depth biblical research. Be sure to download the new michaelrood.tv app for both mobile and home devices for even more commercial-free content.